Hello Zaniacs, welcome back to Zaniac TV. I'm your host, Zane, and today we're going to be talking about the week 7 affixes of Fortified, Spiteful, Volcanic, and Prideful. If anyone has any questions, I do stream live on Twitch four days a week. I also offer Mythic Plus analytics and coaching through Patreon. On this run, I did a 14 Plague Fall, and we were not successful. We were not successful for many reasons, but I will go over why we were not successful when it has to do with the fixes and not general dungeon, which we actually had both reasons why we didn't make it. So if you're running a dungeon and you're wondering why you're getting hit so much harder than you were yesterday or last week, it's because the trash is now fortified and it is no longer tyrannical. The trash packs are a lot harder because they have more health and they hit harder. Oh, so we don't have to do boss mechanics? No, you still have to do boss mechanics. We wiped on the second boss due to one of the three DPS stopped attacking the bomb slime and just ignored mechanics. So since it's fortified week, you want to generally do your tank defensive cooldowns on larger trash packs because the DPS are going to want you to pull big. And they're right, you should pull big. You should pull big, but at the same time be cautious and ready that it is fortified week. So get prepared to do all of your extra CCs, all of your extra kiting, and make sure you pop all of your defensives during trash because they're going to hit a lot harder than they did last week. Starting at level 4, you're going to get spiteful. What spiteful is, is every time an enemy trash mob dies, a ghost spiteful appears and targets a random player and then chases them, it hits them for two to three times normal melee damage. Now there is a tiny secret on what you do as a tank during Spiteful. The hardest part is getting your DPS to do this with you. When you kill a trash pack and all the Spitefuls come out, what you have to do is move forward to the next pack. Practically ignore them. Put your CC down and go to the next pack. Well, why? Why would I do that if they hit for so hard and they fixate on one of the DPS? Wouldn't you want to just kill them? No. They kill themselves. They deteriorate 8% health every second until they die. So in 12 seconds, they will be dead. So the best thing to do is for the most part cc them and move on to the next pack cc them move on to the next pack cc them move on to the next pack encourage your dps not only to not get hit by them but to just ignore them cc them move on to the next pack move forward ignore them they're not there because they will kill themselves in 12 seconds as a brewmaster, if I don't need my ring of peace, I will put my ring of peace down on the spitefuls so that way they don't attack anybody. Then I just move on to the next pack. I use clash on them to keep them rooted so that way they don't get hurt. And then I move on to the next pack. The best thing to do for spiteful is CC them and move forward because in 12 seconds, they don't exist anymore. Volcanics start coming at level 7 or higher. Volcanic targets somebody that is far away and puts a ball of red next to them. If you stand in that ball of red, you will be thrown up in the air and take fall damage as well as regular damage. Generally, this is a range issue. However, I did say it's far away because I have had volcanic spawns next to me while I was kiting. So the best thing to do is just sidestep out of them and just don't get hit by them. However, sometimes they're in a big mess and you don't see them and you'll get hit, thrown up in the air, take some fall damage, take some regular damage. Just be very careful with that. So how does Volcanic affect Spiteful? Well, most of the time you're going to be running away from the Spitefuls or CCing the Spitefuls or even damaging the Spitefuls. And you're not going to really realize that you're running through a Volcanic or you won't even see the volcanic there because you're so focused on spiteful. 
do be extra careful that you don't run into volcanics during this because not only does it stop your momentum, but you are taking extra unnecessary damage, plus getting thrown up in the air, which means you can't do uh, the tank things that you need to do. Even though they're bright and red and round, they are sometimes hard to see in massive packs, especially when you're trying to kite. So just keep a very soft eye out on them because the last thing you want is to get hit by a volcanic and you take unnecessary damage, especially since it's fortified and these trash packs are already hitting you hard enough as it is. So how does all this affect Prideful? Well, for one, for fortified, some people like to line up Prideful with trash packs, but majority of the time people still line up Prideful with bosses because of how quickly the bosses will drop. While Prideful is up, Volcanic doesn't really come out unless there are other trash packs still up, which can happen sometimes due to percent. The real affix that you have to actually worry about with Prideful is Spiteful, because Spiteful will come out as these mobs are getting killed, so you still have to deal with them. They'll still come out, they'll still chase you, they'll still melee you. All of this while the AoE of Prideful is still going on. So you have two options. Option one is you continue doing the CC as long as you have some CC in order to do so. Another option is, is that you have to actually target them and kill them. Yes, they do fall 8% per second, which comes out to about 12 seconds. But 12 seconds of Prideful is a very long time. So having to deal with Prideful for 12 seconds plus having Spitefuls going around and meleeing everybody is not something you want to deal with. So you're going to either want to CC them or try to burn them down as quickly as possible. Having one or two is way more manageable than having a whole bunch. As you see here, towards the last Prideful, just before the last boss, we had Spitefuls everywhere. So we tried to do some CC, we tried to keep away from them while trying to deal with Prideful, but the best thing to do is not just ignore them. You have to actually like do CCs and even possibly do some damage depending on the situation. Because remember, you can't always run away from them. Dungeons to look out for. Mordretha. What? Mordretha, right? You always say her. Actually, no. Mordretha is not on the list this week. Volcanic and Fortified is actually not too bad when it comes to bosses. So, I would say that none of the bosses would be on this list of the more difficult dungeon. Instead, I'm going to go over which trash packs are going to be more difficult with Spiteful and Volcanic. Mist of Trina Scythe would be the early trash before the first boss, so it would be the first two pulls that give the massive damage buff Curse. Plus that pack with the mind controlled tree dude. And of course the pack just before the mushroom bosses as well as the two giant trash packs. Rest of the dungeon should be uh, pretty fine. But I would watch out for early trash before the first boss. In the other side the inner ring trash is going to cause a little bit more of an issue. Because of course it's fortified and they're a large pack. Plus... Having Spitefuls on such a small platform while trying to dodge Volcanics. The Hakar Trash, just make sure that you do a lot of stunning and CCing on them with interrupts. And as well, it's a tight hallway for all of the extra Spitefuls. And then the Arden Wheel Trash, it's very easy to pull extra with Pats. And uh, trying to dodge the Spitefuls while not trying to go into other Trash Packs. So just watch out for the other side. In Sanguine Depths, it would be the trash before the first boss, the ring before the second boss, and of course, the last boss trash, especially the gauntlet. Halls of Atonement, the big thing to look out for is the enraged bears. If these bears get enraged while fortified, they're going to, well, eat you. That they, they eat me all the time, so I have to try to kite them away, especially in larger packs, plus having the spitefuls come out and chasing you. Just be very careful of those. In Theater of Pain, there is the uh, the Zav Trash, the three big gladiators, plus that big pack of mobs that are just after the second gladiator. They are normally very difficult on Fortify, but now when you kill them, Spiteful is going to come out. 
the platform trash before coal is also going to be something to look out for. It's going to go against everything I said about Spiteful, but there you're going to have to actually kill the Spitefuls because you will not be able to use the teleporters while you're in combat. So you will have to focus down the Spitefuls also while trying not to get hit by them while this trash is being fortified. In Plague Fall, especially since I get Prideful, I absolutely love pulling the massive slime trash right before the first boss. However, being that we pull all those at once and then they all die at once, there is all of those spitefuls that you have to watch out for. We pretty much got it when we did it, just there was a lot of spitefuls that we had to watch out for. Also for this run that I did for this video, we had some trouble with the trash just before the third boss. Uh, just with all of the extra spitefuls and all the interrupt stuns that you have to do with the stealthlings and all of that, just be extra careful for that. Spires of Ascension, pretty much all of the trash in between the first and second bosses. That's the stealth lions, that's the trash pack just before the second boss, the uh, two packs that pat into each other. Just uh, that's going to be a little bit rough, especially with the extra spitefuls. Just make sure you have plenty of room. Here, also, it's similar to the platform trash in Theater of Pain, you will not be able to go to the next platform while you're in combat, so you will have to damage down the spitefuls in order to move forward. And last but not least, Necrotic Wake, which we all know the trash here is bad, so no need to really say watch out for it. Just add spitefuls to this. Overall, as a tank, these affixes are a lot easier. Just watch out a little bit for Fortified and help where you can with Spiteful. So what do you guys think about the affixes this week? Leave your comments down below and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.